What's up, infidels? Welcome back to my channel. I've got another fundamental Nikola Nowitzki video for you, and today I have a special game on hand. My illegitimate non-Caucasian grandfather passed away one year ago today. My heart is heavy, but Mater would want me to go out there and take care of business. Of course, I showed up to the arena in an all-black suit to pay my respects towards him and to cover up my wrist. And wouldn't you know it, 2K already said, forget about my dead grandpa, this game is about being the fastest player to reach 2,000 points. Well, dead grandpa or not, I need to have a big game tonight, and I'm going to make sure of that by playing 12-minute quarters. We're also going to put on some of the oldest jerseys we have from the 87-97 era. If you guys haven't figured this out already, I hate all of the current Wizards jerseys, and I refuse to wear any of this garbage. The one nice jersey they have isn't in the game, but with their generic home and away jerseys, what? What is going on here? They're just gross. It's clearly just a ripoff of their Superior Bullets jerseys. Fun fact, they changed the name from the Bullets to the Wizards because of the crime rate in Washington, D.C. Surprise, surprise, they still have some of the worst gun violence in the country. So they ruin their jerseys for nothing. And another fun fact, their alternate logo is a penis. Rebrand the goddamn team. I've been so preoccupied by everything else in this game that I forgot to take a look at the Suns lineup and they are playing without Beal, Booker, and KD. I was expecting KD and Aiton to be guarding me today, but no, it's going to be six foot five ish Wainwright, who I can just bully all day long. Instead of letting my teammates bring up the ball, how about I post up and we throw that pass from 60 feet away and I hit him with a fadeaway. If he wants to guard me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm going to score every single time. It doesn't feel fundamental to be pulling off these types of dunks, but to be fair, Jokic was doing this to me in the last video. All right, I scored six points, so now it's time to double team me every time I touch the ball. I know Kuzma's open in the corner, but I do not care. Today is about me. I'm begging for the ball back and chucking it up. I get fouled. The refs know what's up. My grandfather died a year ago. I get the ball in transition, so the double team is not coming, and I'm going to keep exposing this matchup until Ish Wainwright is playing in China, and I'm going to hit another sweet fadeaway. Another fast break. I could force this. I could lob it to Gafford. I don't care. Another fadeaway. Once again, I catch the defense slip, and they're not going to send the quadruple team. So I'm just going to back him down as much as I want, and I'll just settle for another fadeaway. Okoji's going to guard me? Not really. I'm going to send him to the other side of the court, and why is this guy sitting here slapping my ass on the day my grandfather died? The Suns went to their bench, and they got so much better. I have to go up against Bull Bull, and no thank you. I will start passing. Oh, thank the Lord. The Black Slender Man isn't guarding me. I'm going to have to take advantage of this. Not going to risk it. Back him all the way down and dunk on top of the defense. This thing won't leave me alone, so I'm going to have to take the screen, run away from him, and send up a little floater. <gasps> Phew, I thought they were coming after us. I know I'm hot, but I know Fork Fork over here is long enough to block any shot I put up, so I'm willing to take anything where he's not guarding me. Screw it, I'm shooting 77%. He's jumping on fakes. This is green, right? No, ah, I'm scared of black guys. All right, redemption season. Here we go. Fade away, perfect. Oh God, he's so long. Well, I get another chance. We're gonna go back at it. Oh, Damian Lee? Yeah, you want some of this? Touch me, rub me, please. I don't care. Anyone but Bull Bull. I'll take it, easy buckets. All right, 28 points in the first quarter. We are well on pace to breaking Wilt's record. But I come out in the second quarter and I get shut down. I'm smoking cock out here. So I'm going to have to get my teammates open and I'm looking at the Atlanta Hawks legend Danilo Gallinari. After back-to-back -back assists for him on the pick and roll, I do it again, surprise, and I get a floater because I'm not shooting a normal shot against Bull Bull. I get the ball in transition and I'm hustling down low so they can't double team me. I'm so excited just to score again. I'm going to get an easy finish over Damian Lee, but as you can see, the second quarter has not been kind to me. I went from 77 field goal percentage to 50% in six minutes. And even worse, my coach has the audacity to sit me down for three minutes on the day that my grandfather died. I come back in, they want to run some silly play, but I just call GTFO. I get the ball down low. Yeah, they want to double team me, I understand. Kuzma, you're open, I understand. But do you know that my grandfather died a year ago? I need to take this double team contested fade away every time I can. All right, Gafford, come send me a screen. I'm definitely going to hit you on this pick and roll. Psych contested awkward floater. We'll take it. I finished the second quarter off strong, but we are now 10 points behind schedule with 40 points going into the half. Of course, the halftime report is all about my grandfather's death and not much about me scoring 40 points in the half. 
Even Kareem has something nice to say about him, but he forgets to bring up the fact that his death came as a result of him drinking and driving in the wrong lane down the highway that took out a family of four. Second half is rolling along five seconds into it. I'm begging for the ball. Kuzma's begging for it. Shut up. My grandfather's dead. Watch this fade away. If I'm going to do something amazing today, I cannot afford to pass the ball. I need 58 points in 22 minutes. Aiden wants to guard me. Screw that. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. Let me go right past you in the pick and roll and dunk on the defense. I've never seen myself do that before. Either truck is playing through me today or the guy I picked up at the gay bar last night is still in me. It's Wainwright. What are you doing? You can't guard me. Call for the triple. Your wife is going to leave you at this rate. Aiden wants to guard me, huh? Gafford, get him. I got two guys open on this roll, but no, I just going to force it up. The refs know what's up. My grandfather's dead. More ball hog in action. I'm not going to fade towards Aiden. I green it. No. Oh my God. I'm so tired. I didn't realize. Alrighty. I got to activate takeover now because I need a break sooner or later. And I'm just going to cheat the game and bait this foul. Gallinari, my love, get this thing away from me. I'm attacking the paint and one R ref. W my grandfather's dead. No foul. This Jokic build is not paying off right now. I am almost exhausted in the third quarter and it's getting pretty difficult to score if I'm not wide open. No way in hell I'm getting this double team shot up over Bull Bull. So sadly, I'm going to have to pass to Kuzma today. New game plan. If I could just get Bull Bull fouled out of here, I can just have Ish Wainwright guard me for the rest of the game. Two minutes left in the quarter. I'm making good pace, but my energy is draining. I've scored 22 points in this quarter and wouldn't you know it, I passed the milestone that I forgot I was supposed to pass. My takeover is about to run out. I need a break. I just just beat a record let me foul let me get a standing ovation let me get a rest coach 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 L let me out of the game i'm tired i have asthma do you want me to end up like my grandpa you want to put a cross on the side of the road or the side of the court to be fair though the floater is a cheat code i can make this all day we are going to finish the third quarter with 64 points we only need 36 more points in 12 minutes you're probably wondering how am i going to make this happen well i'll tell you right now i'm done playing defense for the rest of the game i do not have the time or energy for that Hey, no, what are you going to do? Oh, you're going to go right by me. Oh, no. How will we ever recover from that? Oh, I'm just going to cherry pick Tom Brady. Touchdown. Oh, DeAndre Aiden, I'm so worried about you scoring on me. You are hot right now, but I'm playing intense defense. You better not come over here. Oh, Lord. Oh, ref. My grandfather's dead. But you know, as coaches like to say, no defense leads to wide open, easy offense. Oh no, Metu, you better not run the floor at me and get the wide open layup. What are we going to do? Trey Jones, I'm not open, but it hit me. Good God. Wow. Honestly, probably a better QB than whatever the Washington commanders have right now. Oh no, Bobo, you got a wide open shot. Dang. What are we going to do about that? Come on. I'm open. Put it in the pocket. Put it in the pocket. All right. Throw it over there. That works. Sounds okay. I can go right by him. Oh man. I'm too important to play defense right now. Definitely not being fundamental but i was never known for defense in the first place trey jones i'm not kidding you are gonna get a bag on your next contract you may not be playing basketball but you are gonna get paid sir oh my god we're playing four on five and we still get a stop throw it up boys oh no i'm dying jordan pool leave my grandfather's dead all right starters are in gafford setting the big screen i know you're open i'm sorry gafford just please come back listen to me have you seen my floater and all my defense has led to me being cold for the first time of my career. I'm tired on top of that. And honestly, maybe shooting the contested fadeaways against Bull Bull isn't going to fix that. I can't be making contested fadeaways while cold and tired. So I'm going to have to throw up an alley-oop. Whoop-dee-doo. Right, another great possession on defense and another full court pass. And what the hell? Who put Justin Fields in the game? Okay, it's actually a three-point game. So I have to give a little bit of effort on defense. But I'm sure shit not rebounding. Gafford, you got that covered, buddy. I'm running the break. Find me or I'm kicking you off the team. And you're going to try to take a charge on me on the day my grandfather died. All right, we got some breathing room up six points. So it's time to play absolutely no defense again. 81 points is not going to do it. So I'm thinking overtime is the best solution here. Up four points with a minute left to go. And I've got an open lane and ish Wayne Wright. Oh my Lord. On the day my grandfather died. My plan from earlier has completely fallen apart. I was trying to foul out Bull Bull and DeAndre Ayton, but now Ish Wainwright has five fouls because he can't keep his hands off me. I'm still 12 points away from the record. There's 10 seconds left in the game. Somehow I got to tie this up. You probably have no clue how this is coming. I got to get the rebound. I got to get the ball. Let me get the timeout. Timeout. Stop. What are we going to do? We're going to call another timeout. Just bear with me. 
And when we get back, what are we gonna do? Take another timeout. We're out of timeouts. That's a technical foul. They get free throws. All I have to do is do this until the game is tied and we gotta get a stop with one second left and not mess this up. Come on, boys. One second of defense, that's all we need. Can't let Aiden get the lob. Can't let him get that. I'm covering this. Oh, oh, oh Corey. Go okay. Oh, God. Okay. We're going overtime. Everything's fine. All right. Overtime here. Gonna go for that tip. I won the tip. I won the tip. Oh, and I have a full bar of stamina. That's a cheat code. Let's go to work. Come on. Oh, God damn. Dude, I tried being a playmaker for five seconds and Bobo exists. I got the ISO right, double team. Come on, guys. I'm trying to get the record. I understand I have 88 points. Just let me cook, please. I'm even willing to go at Bull Bull one-on-one. -on -one. I'm probably not going to make this, but I can't even try because I keep getting double teamed. You know what, though? If they're not going to let me get clean fundamental shots up, I'm just going to have to turn on the Jets, run the fast break, and cheat my way to the record. All right, an even bigger concern is that all my poor defense has actually led to this being a contested close game. So I'm going to have to take this serious for a minute. Hit Gafford on the pick and roll. He's wide open. You're what? What, what are you doing, Gafford? Gafford, give me the ball. Quit panicking. You got shit stains on your pants. Kuzma, come here. Pick and roll. Uh, you're open. Fuck it. We'll take it. Oh, I don't hate you, Kuzma. I don't hate you. All right. No three-pointers on defense. You know what that means? Bad defense on my part. Leave the roll wide open. Yep. You can dunk that on us all day. I don't care. It's a tie game. I could have a Mamba moment right now and hit the game winner. Uh, no, I'm just going to take the ball, hold it at half court. Let time run out. We're going to go to another overtime. I'm going to break this record. Another overtime, another full bar of stamina. I'm ready to break this record. All I need is seven points and we're going to get an easy bucket right away. They gave me no other option but to be a playmaker for the next few minutes and I'm running behind schedule again, but I really don't want to go to another overtime. I've got a mismatch against Gordon, but I know as soon as I turn my back to the basket, I'm getting double teamed, but my team actually runs a play and I get a wide open lane. Wow, Washington Wizards know how to play basketball. We are just two points away from tying it. I know this animation is an easy foul, so I'm just going to bait my way into that. Not going to risk it. Going to put takeover on and perfectly green the first one. All right. Another free throw to tie the record. This is probably going to be in a commercial. I need to green it. And I choked the chicken. Jesus. All right. We still made it. 100 points. And what's going to be the shot that I pull off to break the record? I've got two options. I'm going to try the fadeaway, but Bull Bull, you are not going to ruin this moment for me. I'm going to pass that out and take the three. And you know what? I'm pretty satisfied with this outcome. Gafford and DeLon Wright are dogs on defense. I love them. They get the stop. They kick it up to me. And I hit the floater to break the record with 102 points. We can finally pull away and win this game. I'm still going to cherry pick. Bull Bull's still going to try to block me. Yeah, sit your dumb ass down. That's another easy bucket. I accidentally put up a 20-20-20 game. So I'm sure that's all 2K is going to be talking about for the next week. And one more floater for good measure. We are going to finish this game with 106 points, 20 assists, and 32 rebounds. This was a long and rough game, but it would not have been possible without the full court passes of Trey Jones. All of Daniel Gafford's illegal screens that he gets away with and the ligament damage on KD's knee. Please ignore my teammate grade, but it is time to get the press conference started. And remember, go to the comment section if you have any press conference questions for the next video. Lena Becker. Washington Post, congratulations on breaking the single game scoring record, becoming the fastest player in NBA history to reach 2,000 points, and breaking the longest team winning streak in the same night. This must be an emotional day for you, considering this is also the one year anniversary of your grandfather Truck's passing. How are you feeling after all this? To be honest, I never met that deadbeat and I don't think we're even related. He is African-American and I am Austrian. From what I've heard about him, he used to get drunk at the NBA games and come home and beat up on his entire family. I just don't get why we're sitting here glorifying his death considering the details. You do know if he survived that car crash, he would be in prison for the rest of his life. Claude Martin, drama alert. Nicola, you broke the scoring record tonight, but you also displayed some of the worst defense this league has ever seen. And you also set a record for the most technical fouls received when you purposely tied the game up in the fourth quarter. Wouldn't you consider that a bitch-ass move? Nope, but thanks for letting me know. I broke another record tonight. After being up six points with a second left on the game clock, I saw that my team needed to talk things through to make sure we didn't lose, so I did what had to be done. Kendrick Perkins, ESPN. The refs let you beat the record tonight. 
If you were black, you'd never have a chance to beat the record at all. Kendrick, if you were white, you wouldn't have a job. You're a diversity hire. Alex, Cosmopolitan, if you could smash one WNBA player, who would it be? Skylar Diggins Smith. But Liz Cambridge has the stature of a few women that have ever walked this planet, so that would be pretty cool too. Let's split up, gang. The Athletic. What are your thoughts on sending Jordan Poole to Taiwan in exchange for Dwight Howard? I'm all for it. That's a trade we haven't considered yet, but that would be a perfect fit. Dwight could set me some solid screens, and I know he has a little finger up the butt trick to get rebounds, and as long as he doesn't try that on me in practice, I'd love to see it executed. Speaking of, maybe we could station Poole on a naval ship in between Taiwan and China, and I can work on the rising tensions between the two. It would be a win-win. Kukureyan 95, Washington Times. Are you planning on shooting your shot like Travis Kelsey? If that means going after Taylor Swift, hell no. She's mid, Kanye made her, and every time you'd sleep with her, it would look like period sex with all that lipstick she wears. Besides, I'm afraid of starting conversations with the other gender. Zoharshan, BBC. Do you think Danny being circumcised affects his game? I feel like it gives him an extra burst of speed that he wouldn't have if he was rocking the full winter coat. His ball game has room for improvement, but he has a sweet cock on him. It looks like God himself snipped that thing. I'll give him props. Alrighty, that's gonna do it. Thank you, everyone.